My name is Stephen Olive, and I'm from uh, Madison, Florida. How does someone from a warm, sunny place like Florida end up mussing dogs in Alaska? Steve Olive's career as a pharmacist brought him to Bethel in 2009. Olive was surprised to find some similarities between Alaska and his home state of Florida. Like the fishing opportunities and large mosquito population, he has also discovered some extreme differences. The wind. I was surprised. I, in Florida, if we have 70 mile an hour winds, it's it's like a hurricane force wind and they close traffic and uh, here it's 30 miles an hour of wind is just normal <laughs> for everyone. While living in Bethel, he met Myron Angstman who introduced Olive to Massey. It was with the puppy team. Myron led me out with the snow machine and he kept going. And I was like, "What? what's he doing? Like, he's just going to leave me out here. And, uh, and after about three turns, I realized the old leaders that were up front knew the way. And I was like, oh, this is, this is great. And then we went up, we made a turn, and the old 12-year-old leader just took me, took me home. And I, I couldn't believe it. And he said, well, if you, want, if you like this, just show up again tomorrow. Well, then I just showed up again for the next three years. After mushing for a while, they got ready for Olive's first long run. Um, and Myron says, Hey, we're going a long way. You better go grab snacks. And I said, oh, yeah, you're right. So I run to my truck as fast as I can. About the time I turn around with two Snickers in my hand, mm -hmm. I went, he meant the dogs. <laughs> and that, and, and, so, yeah, that was where my mind was. <laughs> Since then, Steve Olive has come a long way, finishing third in last year's Bogus Creek 150. This year, Olive will run in his first K300. Um, when you share the trail with the, uh, the two men who have held the Iditarod record, uh, you, you kind of don't want to like go out and just like fall on your face right in the, out of the gate. From his experience, there's one thing he loves the most. The dogs. Uh, it's just a fun time. It doesn't matter what kind of day you have at work or whatever you you go to the dog yard they're excited to see you and they're excited to go run he may have come from a warm sunny place but it seems like he found his niche this is jordan game signing off from lksd journalism